Hey guys, it's Silky. Happy holidays, everyone. Uh, today's video is a painting that I did for my friend just for the holidays and also for thanking her to, for letting me stay at her place when I was visiting. Uh, we were on a road trip to Grand Canyon and her boyfriend saw this image right here and asked if I would draw the both of them in, the, in this position in my style. And of course, yes, I said yes. And uh, this sketching part right here, uh, super simple, typical, just using a flat brush that has pressure sensitivity. And <laughs> here I am goofing off because I did this during a live stream and I was kind of struggling with the face in the beginning and thought I would alleviate that pressure by giving him a kissy face and Viking hair. Uh, and also, actually though, eventually I do get rid of that Dracula haircut, so <laughs> please <laughs> don't mind that right now. There we go, it's gone, yay! Um, oh, like I said though, that I did do this during a live stream, and if you guys missed that who did want to be there, I'm really sorry, but of course I will have more sessions in the future, but I will be using Twitch next time over YouTube for many reasons uh, and I'll be announcing it on YouTube though and on Instagram if you guys would like to join next time um, so at this part I'm doing color thumbnails uh, you know you guys know me by now if you watch my videos that I do color thumbnails pretty often and I would I'll, I'll look at photos for inspiration just to give me ideas of the kind of look that I'm going for. Uh, here's the inspiration for this part. And when I, I use, and I say the word inspiration rather than reference because I, I, just, I didn't look at it for very long. I wasn't trying to, uh, it was more like I was trying to get the same feeling that I got from it rather than looking at it for, with. it wasn't open next to my painting the whole time, which is, you know, th sometimes the way I use reference. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, I start with that small, super small sketch. Here I am now doing the super big sketch. I opened a new file, made it much larger, 300 dpi, all that stuff. And I'm much more careful about my layers here. Like everything is on its own layer. Her skin, her hair, her her shorts, you know, all of it. Uh, and they're grouped by character and background, all that kind of stuff. All that good, good stuff. Um, but yeah, and so pretty much I'm just using the color thumbnail that I did, that tiny, tiny one, and I put it in the top right, or I, I'll move it around the image, and I re really just use it as a color picker. That way I'm not worrying so much about making sure I find the right color. I have already done all that, and I just use that thumbnail as a color picker. Of course, I'm not married to it, like, it, you know, things look different once it's bigger and once you put more detail on it. Uh, and also, the, she, she gave me some outfit references of what she wanted to wear and what, for what he wanted to wear, and also just photo references for their face, and so that I could get a likeness. Of course, you know, that's pretty important. You want to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm actually quite happy with the likeness. I think it looks a lot like them. I think it's recognizably as them. So. Yay! I can't wait to see a picture of it hung up, um, and she's gonna get it printed and everything, and I, yeah, can't wait to see it. Um, so at this point, I mean, I'm really mostly just worrying about local color, like I'm not, I'm starting to work on the background here, but I leave the characters pretty flat looking because I just want to make sure I'm building everything up at the same time, that way I can compare everything at the same time. Uh, but I usually start with background because um, I'm comparing, I want to make sure my characters look good against the background. So I want to make sure I'm happy with the background so that the characters can shine. Uh, anyway, so I also get a lot of uh, questions about how I choose my colors. And honestly, that's a really difficult question to answer because uh, it's a mix of color theory, you know, things I learned from school and from just color theory classes, which is a pretty big topic. I can't really, you know, explain all of that in one process video. That could be something from f for future videos. Um, or it's also a mix of just my gut and what I like and what I think looks pleasing, which, you know, is very subjective. So. Someone could look at this and think it's the most horrible color palette they've ever seen and throw up as soon as they look at it, but <laughs> uh, I guess like it's just, yeah, it's subjective, it's what I like, and so 
part of being an artist, I think, is just experimenting, see what you like, and just stand by it. If if someone else doesn't like it, and you, you know, unfortunately, you can take criticism, but you can also, I guess, stand your ground as well if, if there's something that you really like. Um, but one way, and I'm gonna put a disclaimer and saying, one way of getting a pleasing color palette is, and one way that I really like is um, using a limited color palette. Um, and what I mean by that is that you're really only working with a very small set of colors and not using all the colors in the rainbow. Uh, it's pretty clear, I think, from this image that I'm using a lot of purples, like that's the main color, is purples, blues, you know, it's very, very cool. Like, cool as in not warm, <laughs> not cool as in, yo, cool, uh, okay, I'm derailing. Anyway, uh, uh, but still having hue and temperature changes. So what I mean by that, too, is that you have a limited color palette, so you're really only working with purples, for example, in this image, but you're working with warm versions of purple and cool versions of purple. Um, this color palette, I would say, is kind of a range. It's, it's really just purples and yellows, and same with the yellows. There's cooler versions of that yellow and warmer colors are versions of that yellow. And the way you want to cleverly use, you want to use these in, as an arsenal, you know, you want to use this to make your artwork look a lot more dynamic, look, have a lot more to it um, than just flat monochrome colors. And the way you do that is uh, in when you're lighting or when you're adding shadow. So that, well, that's one way. Again, another disclaimer. Um, like, for example, you know, her highlight, or in this picture, highlights and light is warm. And what looks best is when your shadows are then opposite to that. And so in here, her shadows or their shadows is much cooler. So warm light means cold shadows. And it works the other way too. If you have cool light, it looks really good when there's cold shadows. Um, wait, no, cool light and so there's warm shadows. Again, this is just this is just a tool that you can use, that you know you can use in your arsenal. You, I'm really sure there are plenty of artworks that work where cool shadows with cool sh cool light. But anyway, uh, I just think this is a cool thing that I learned to help make an image feel just so much more dynamic and interesting. Um, but it, of course, it doesn't just apply to shadows or light. Um, for example, in the sky, you know, it goes from this super warm yellow to a cool, almost like blue sky. Uh, and that has nothing to do with, well, that, I mean, there's no, for example, like cast shadow or anything like that. It's, it's just a gradation and that's what I like. But in general, yeah, lots of opposites, but contained opposites. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then here I'm really, this is the point where I'm mostly detailing, I'm adding their initials in the, uh, on the motorcycle just because I thought that would be cute. Um, I'm doing my final touches of things like subsurface scattering on that skin, like where there's this orange right after this bright, bright yellow to make it feel like her, she's translucent because skin is translucent. But yes, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you guys like it. I think my friends really liked it, so that makes me happy. Um, yeah, uh, happy new year, everyone, and I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday. All right, bye, guys.